Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Everyday Cody for the Everyday Guy. We have some mail to open today. We have some questions to answer. So let's answer a question, do a pocket dump, open a mail, answer a question, open a mail. How does that sound? Okay, first question first. is from Rainer Smith. Um, do you shoot reloads when going to the range? What's your opinion on reloads and can it cause damage to the firearm? Yes, I do shoot reloads when I go to the range almost exclusively. Every three to six months, I would shoot out my carry ammo and replenish that with new carry ammo. I, I have noticed that you will get more jams with reloads than with carry ammo. Um, but I can't speak for the greater population as to whether reloads cause damage, although I don't think they do. Like, there's always the potential, but I mean, if you're buying it from a gun shop and not reloading it yourself... That, that possibility, I would say, is very well mitigated. I do apologize for the vehicle noise in the background, but it is a racetrack outside my place. So, to answer your question, I should reloads and carry ammo, but obviously reloads more often. I've shot thousands and thousands and thousands of reload rounds that you buy from your local gun shop, and I've never... I've had jams, but I've never had it actually uh, cause damage to my firearm. Let's do a pocket dump and open a package. Okay, so I'm actually running the old Strauss & Co. pocket organizer today. We've got my Leatherman Scally tool, a Glock pen from CHS Guns, and the i5T. I've sort of set this up like this. Um, this two things stay in here, the Scally tool comes out with me when I feel like it. Belt is Core Essentials. Holster is the Southwest Holsters Rattler for the Olight Balder Mini. Let's get that back on. Good to go and then on this side we are running my defensive blade which is the cold steel mini tech in a southwest Austin's sheath and the knife we're going to use to open packages is my benchmade griptilian okay so let's open package number a oh, that's heavy GKL Tactical. So GKL Tactical are a South African company. They make really, really cool paracord goods. This is a monkey fist. It's supposedly a defensive tool. You hang it to your keys and you can easily locate your keys, but you can also hit someone with this. Yeah, I mean, it's solid, right? Um, I would say it's more of a novelty defensive tool. I don't know. Like, okay, let me put it this way. If you were going to hit someone with this and you actually do hit them with it, they're going to be really unhappy. Like, oh, what is this? Yeah, no. Shit. That, that was so odd. It freaking knocked my, um, my tripod almost off. And I hit the ground. I didn't even hit the table that my tripod is standing on. That's insane. Okay, so long story short, if you hit someone with this, if you order one of these and you hit someone with this, they're going to be unhappy, right? So, so don't, like that actually dented my wooden floor. Monkey first. I don't know if this is completely paracord inside here, but it's rock solid. It's like a solid as a rock. Literally, it's like a stone or something that, that this feels like. This will, this will cause uh, an excessive amount of damage. Although you've got to be honest, that, that takes a lot of skill to bind paracord like that, right? GKL Tactical, they're on Instagram. Please go and follow them. They've got like 700 and odd... Uh, followers now I would like for you guys to support them go over to their page this is the um, Instagram link I will leave it linked down below as well give them a follow this African they do cool things with paracord and now they're supporting my YouTube channel and I would like you guys to support them in turn they actually close friends with the guys who make Strauss and Co one of the things I forgot from my pocket dump is wallet gone back to the old MBK triple black I don't know, I, like, I'm spoiled for wallets, eh? Like, really, I have some really, really good wallets. Like, I wake up every morning and I can, like, decide which wallet I want to run. So, um, GKL Tactical. Order some stuff, but if you're not going to order, support them. Thank you very much uh, for sending me that. And you will definitely see it in some Instagram posts. I was thinking as I took it out, like, I'm going to just play and, like, eat Michelle with this. But that would not go down well and this vlog would probably end. 
Okay, question number two. So, Rainer Smith is really taking advantage of the EDC Q&A, which I appreciate. Um, guys, if you want to ask me anything, you can DM me on Instagram or inbox me on Facebook. Just put EDC Q&A or Q&A in your name, and I'll ask you a question and answer it on the channel. Okay, have you, have you ever had any damage on your weapon because of too much dry firing? Trigger pressing specifically. So, what he's talking about there is... We are empty and safe. What he's talking about there is dry firing, trigger pressing specifically. So to answer that question, no. And I do a ton of dry firing. Like I dry fire like the business of absolute nobody. Um, I dry fire almost every single day. And I, I, they, I mean, they are, yeah. I've got to be in the top 100 dry firers in Cape Town per month, if you check my numbers. So, I've never had any damage. I don't suspect I would have any damage. I know early days they would cause damage to, to, to firing pins and things like that, I think it was. And that's why snap caps were invented. I'm not 100% certain on that, but don't quote me. Or firing springs, I can't remember exactly. But, um, I do a ton of dry firing and I've not had any issues at all, so... We're good to go. Package from the Green Monster. This is either going to be Olight or Torch SA. Um, if it's Torch SA, it's Henry Bierman. So I would like to thank you already if it is you, Henry. I think it is. Yep, it is because it's not Olight. It really is like Christmas if you are an EDC gear reviewer. Like, if you're not an EDC gear reviewer and you like EDC gear, you're really missing out. The Trustfire Z9, sorry about the brightness, it's very very bright, sorry about that. The Trustfire Z9, this is a zoomable flashlight and it's only 599 Rand. Now when they say zoomable, I've been keen to have a look at this Z9. It's got a nice, nice feel in the end and I'm assuming you twist that. Oh, uh, okay. So I, I assume what they mean when they say zoomable, right? You see that? I assume that this would increase the candela by making the reflector larger, right? And therefore, um, you'd get higher candela, which means a, a harder hotspot or a more focused hotspot. I don't know. I just don't know how a flashlight would be zoomable. Although I feel like in the extended version of it, it feels better in the end. So, and it's got a dome shape uh, glass uh, yeah, situation here. So... That's quite interesting. Zoomable. I'll fiddle around that and I'll, I'll do some beam shots so you guys can see what this looks like. And then from PowerTech, now those of you who follow my channel know I'm, I'm quite a big fan of PowerTech. PowerTech are a US company. They make their things out of China and they, they don't really um, hide that fact. I don't really care. 90% of everything is made in China. The PowerTech Mark Mini. Now, I want to start off by saying, I did some research on this, this is not an Olight PL Mini 2 replica. These two things are different. They have the same, you know, it's, it's hard, hard to say, they have the same mechanism, but this is an incredibly high candela weapon mounted light. The PowerTech Mark Mini, it also feels, it feels more solid. It's a weightier, beefier, Let's see. Let's see it on the firearm. It's a beefy. It's even. It's a. It's even heavier than my Balder Mini. It's a definitely a beefier light. Let's get this guy on. It's got the rail, so it will fit any um, firearm. What are your thoughts? And it's got that that um, what is that the the stream light? Is a stream light a finger press where you press forward kind of deal? But it's got 22,000 candela, right? Which means it's more of a focused hotspot than it is a, a um, flooder, which is quite interesting, which, which I quite like, right? It's a, it's got a, it actually does have a really, really focused hotspot. You could all, wow, that's insane. I will give beam shots for you guys sometime soon. Um, holster wise, let's see. I mean, it fits, right? It fits my Balder Mini Ulster. That's not bad. Yeah, it fits. Let's see. For those of you wondering, 
um, Winchester Rangers plus P, it fits. That's not bad at all. I mean, that, that's an that, that's an a opportunity right there. So it does fit my Balder Mini Rattler. There you go. So you guys can't see it, and I'm not sorry, guys. I'm not going to turn the camera now. But this is a very high candela flashlight, and um, the hot spot at about three meters is smaller than um, an A4 piece of paper, judging by the looks of it, which is really cool. So, it's, so you can have a lot of reach. Nice one. I do quite. I must be honest. I'm a quite a big fan of PowerTech. Those of you who follow me know my EDC is the PowerTech Valor. And I, well, let me show it to you. PowerTech Valor. And Michelle's, by the way, while we're on topic, Michelle's um, bedside flash that is the PowerTech Warrior. She saw, I got this from Henry Beam and she saw it and she was like, I want that flashlight. And she picked it up and it's got, it's got that same PowerTech seam. You see this knurling on here, right? It's on there as well. It's very aggressive and it's on here as well guys just to let you know again once again we are empty and safe very nice and it fits the balder mini holster that will do well done to power tech listen if you're gonna make a weapon like that right it's important you make it that it's going to be compatible with holsters because otherwise you're gonna have to you you're forcing your clientele to buy new holsters as well I like it. I'm going to do a full review on it as I always do. I'm going to get to the range, shoot the crap out of it. I do. I, I will be honest. It's a more solid. It's it's a much more solid um, build, definitely. But no no like no questions about it. Like if you look at this now, the Balder Mini is a solid bugger. You hear that right? And if you can hear the play. I don't know if they mean that. I don't know if they mean to make it like play like that. But this thing, when locked down, there's no shit. There's absolutely no play, and it feels it feels weightier. It feels meatier. The PowerTech Mark Mini. I think it's like a 500 odd lumen, but it's got immense throw. I like it. Stay tuned and I will be doing a review of the Mark Mini. Thank you to everyone who sent me this. Guys, please go follow Torch SA. Please go follow GL K Tactical. Um, these guys support GKL Tactical. My apologies. These guys support my channel. I'd really love it if you guys in turn support them. Thank you to you guys for sending me this. Thank you for the EDC questions. I will see you guys soon. I'm doing something for Magnum for Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys dig it. I'll see you soon. Have a good week. Be safe. Try not. Cheers. God bless.